Hello, people. It's Poet, and we are back in Ark. Um, I just logged in. I made myself a campfire, and that leveled me up. Uh, so I'm going to add it to Fortitude. And let's start buying some clothing. We've done this before. Feels like a million times now. Um, let's do hat. And that's all that we can learn. Let's get them on, shall we? Huh? What? Did I make... No, I don't want to make two of them. How do I stop it? How do I stop it? Stop it! <laughs> no! Clear craft cue. No, that's... Ah! Well, now I have two pairs of pants. What am I going to do with two pairs of pants? They've got to make a way to, like, double-click on it to stop it from crafting more than one. It's just so inconvenient to have to... You know, if if you've got two stacked up, you hit clear Q. It doesn't clear the two that are... Oh, anyway. Rants aside, I've got some clothing on now. Extra pair of pants, which is pretty useless. Uh, since I can just repair these for cheaper when they break. I guess one could argue that it's already money spent, so to speak. But I don't care. It's just taking up... Taking up weight for no reason. I don't have storage chests yet. What am I doing? I have I have tools. I can, I can cut these normally. So we're just starting new from the last episode. It's been raining for like weeks on this server, apparently. Weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And this is a large rock. Come on. Oh, I can't wait to go back to metal tools and stuff. Ah. It's going to take so long to get back to where I was, to how I was. Um, I was going, going to off camera break this down. I didn't finish doing that. Also because I was kind of sleeping in here and I didn't want to do that while I was sleeping in there. So let's see. I wonder if like a spear, I don't have it learned, but I wonder if a spear would break this faster. Because it's kind of like a weapon. Hmm. I bet if I tamed a Dilophosaur or something. If I tamed a Dilophosaur... That could be handy. Maybe he would help me break, break things. Come back here, fish. Come on. Look at all the fish in here. The ragdolling in this game, still not the greatest. Look at this guy, he's like beached. Cause you'll hit a fish in water and he'll go flopping around for miles. Guess you can't really complain. These guys are all like beached. They can't move. I don't mind that. Okay, here's one more. These guys aren't beached. They'll move. Yep. This guy too. I'm getting all the meat. Okay. I think I should try to punch one, because then it'll add it to my dossier. Nope, I killed it. Didn't mean to kill it. Ah, breaking all my tools. Come on. There we go. Where'd that other guy go? There he is. Let's try to knock him out. Try. Go unconscious now, please. Nope, he's dead. How exactly do I take damage from punching a fish? I mean, I'm sure it would feel weird. I don't know that it would really hurt that badly. Man, this pond 
Has nothing. This guy's adorable and beautiful. I hate to kill him, but I will. Come back here. Killed him too. Ah. I don't even want to gather his meat. I just have too much of it right now. Uh, let's place this down. Can I place it down here? Even though we're right beside the, quote, enemy's base. I guess we can. Right there would be fine, I guess. And some uh, logs and some meat. Look at how much meat we got from those fish. And there's more in there. There's way more in there. I see two right there already. There's that dead one. Did I just see a third? This whole pond is just like a koi pond. There's just so many of them. Um, okay, so what I got to tell you guys about Ark, me recording it. Um, I used to be doing it daily. And I do kind of want to pick that up again. I want to do it like as regularly as I can because, I mean... <clears throat> It just, it's so fun to play that I want to get as much out of it as I can. I want to do it as much as I can. Uh, and there's a big reason why it has not been coming out as regularly as it used to. Uh, by that I mean every day. Uh, number one was the whole roleplay thing. We had stopped while we got a new server. And then we stopped to see if we were going to do that, how that would work. Um, when that didn't work, then it took us a little bit of time to figure out what we were actually going to do now that we've decided that we're just going to go vanilla experience um, one of the main things that has happened is that I'm actually traveling to London uh, today as a matter of fact I'm traveling out today uh, by the time you see this video I'll, I, I will already be there um, and have been there for a few days and I'm not back until the 9th so I'm there for just over a week, and I didn't pre-record any ARC footage at all. Um, this, right now, I'm recording this on the day I'm leaving, uh, just because I don't want you guys to be left without any ARC footage. I want to get as much out as I can. So, doing the best I can. I will get it out regularly again. When I get back, I will try my best to do that. Eating some meat. Got so much of it. I'm gonna actually add the rest in there too. What? What? How come? I used to be able to just double click and it would add one in there. Oh, there it goes. Well, that was weird. I was double clicking and it was adding it to five. See? I guess maybe. Was it full? might have been full. This might have not had any spots available. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it... Yeah. Okay. My bad. Um, okay. So, almost ready to level up again. Let's just go cut down some trees and stuff to gather supplies and to help level us up. This really is, like, the best spot. Um, if I open up my map here, I'll show you kind of where I am. Um, I don't have a pointer on the map enabled at all, but if you look up to the top right, very top right of the map, you'll see that island. Now go to the left of that island until you hit land, and you see there's like almost a sideways teardrop shape inside of the, the island, or the main land there. Just like, go to that island way to the far northeast, and then go left of that. And there's this little teardrop shape. It's at, at about longitude 70, 60, 68-ish, 70. And then latitude is about, say, 18. So there's a little tiny droplet shape. And that, my friends, I think is where I am. This is the little droplet shape right here. Is this little inlet place and it is so perfect it's like they made it knowing that this was going to be a really really good spot to set up camp um, because 
basically, nothing bad seems to spawn here. Like, really, nothing bad seems to spawn here. I haven't seen even a Dilophosaur. Never mind anything bigger. Um, I do know... I have witnessed them. That there are raptors and I think even... Uh, Smilodons and Argentavis and... All kinds of really bad things, honestly. <laughs> Uh, along the shoreline here that I can see This guy's stuck. This guy's stuck. I should almost take him down He's stuck That would level me up and Then again, so does just normal running at this low level that I'm at So I have seen bad things ar along here don't see any right the second, thankfully. But especially the further east you go, because there's this mountain. And if I look back at the map again, um, and you go uh, from that teardrop shape, you follow the coast going towards the right. You pass the little river thing, and then there's that little mountain there. Um, that's where there's a whole bunch of bad. A whole bunch of bad. And there's actually a mountain going in the opposite direction along the coast. As well, that, uh, that's actually right in front of me. Um, right there. So. That mountain there, bad. There's another mountain that way, bad. That island right there. The island that I use as my, my pinpointer, bad. <laughs> it's filled with Carnotaurs and Argentavis <coughs> and all kinds of bad things. Raptors, I think. All kinds of bad things. Um, so I'm kind of in between two really horrible places. Um, but that's not actually a bad thing in a way. Um, they won't bother me if I don't bother them. And if I need to go and get resources, thankfully a lot of it spawns on this side of my little cove here. I don't need to go up on top of that. That wall into the forest like I did that one time. When I was trying to walk here. I was trying to walk here so many times. When I died that first in the roleplay episode. I died. And I was trying to walk here because I kept accidentally picking the east. I don't know why I was. I kept picking east. Um, and this was actually north. I didn't know that this zone was north. So I kept picking east. And having to try to walk here. Through the forest and stuff. And I died probably a five or six times easily so I know that it's a bad place I don't want to go there but also makes it kind of interesting when I want to go and get things like raptors and I even do want to have a saber tooth tiger saber tooth cat saber smile it on <laughs> eventually when I get a smile it on it'll be easy to get one too because they're just right over there right towards that mountain there like, I don't have to go far to get one. Whereas, when we were in the south, if you look at the map, like, where we were, way in the bottom. Like, as far to the southwest as you can get. That's where our base was before. So, I'm, like, complete opposite angle of the island. And the very hard to get resources, metals and stuff. Are all over this place, so I am happy choosing this place, and I think a lot of other people have too. Um, like I was saying in the last episode, uh, can I make storage chest? When when do I get that? Here's a storage chest, level five, and I am currently level four. So when I level up, I'll be able to have a storage chest, and that will allow me to put some stuff away. Especially now that they've made it so that you don't have a weight limit. Oh, thank you developers for that. No weight limit on storage chests. A la Minecraft. It's so, so wonderful. Because that was really one of the biggest limitations. Is having to have a huge shack full 
of storage chests that can barely hold a stack of wood. I mean, that was crazy. That was ridiculous. So fixing that, I mean, so amazing. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm so weighed down right now. I'm so close to leveling up. Come on. Come on. Where's my... I'm at 69.3 out of 70. Oh, so close. Let's see how much I get from walking a couple steps. One, two, three, four, five. I, I don't know I what number was I counting. I, I was listening to my footsteps, and then this guy's footsteps got in the way. And Let's say I've just walked about five feet. Info. It went up point two. Okay. So by the time I get... I'll do a lap around that building, and I should be leveled up. I might actually level up before I get there. Come on. Level up. Level up. Lap around the building. I did my lap. How close am I? 69.8. Okay. So I went up 0.3 by going all the way here. So, very good things. Oh, this thing's still cooking. Whoops. Ah! Wrong button. They gotta fix that. Just for intuitiveness sake. Oh, I leveled up. Just from standing around, I guess. Probably from collecting that kind of stuff. I wonder, do you get experience from cooking food? I wonder if you do. That's something that I've never really thought about. Like, even just from burning wood, I wonder if this... Like, my experience is going up. And I think it might actually be because the wood here that I put in here is burning. It sounds crazy, but... I think that's why I'm leveling up. Either way, um, let's gain some Engram points by clicking on that. And then storage box will be definitely one of the things I buy. And now I can't afford anything else. Oh, early level. But this is much needed. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can I put it inside of here? I know that I'm going to be destroying this. Oh, whoops. I don't need to. There we go. I'm starting to put the craftable thing in the slot. There we go. So I know I'm going to be destroying this, but can I place this chest in here anyway? No, it's saying that this is obstructed. I guess probably because that's an enemy structure. So I'm going to actually I want to start building where that structure is. So I'm actually going to be putting this chest, let's throw it right beside the, the fire pit for now. Um, and it can act as my storage for wood and stuff later on as well. So, thatch, thatch, wood, more wood, and some fiber, and some stone, and some flint. So, those are all my craftables, and the rest I got is berries, um, which I don't really need. I can... Will I ever need ammer berry seeds? No. I don't think that I'm ever going to make a crop with ammer berries. If anything, I'll use, like... Rock carrots and savo roots and all those other rare weird things that you can make. Let's get ourselves a torch going. Can't make one. I need one wood, one flint, one stone. Well. One flint, one wood, one stone. I did that backwards. <laughs> Let's make a torch. Torch, 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 torch. Where is it? There it is. Put it there. Alright. So what I was going to do is maybe head down to see Huck's place and then even further than that is Wind's place. And I wanted to see if I could get there. But considering it is nighttime now and raining, um, I don't know how safe that'll be. I guess... 
it doesn't hurt to try. And I'll level up. Well, I won't necessarily level up, but I'll gain experience walking there basically the whole way if I run. So that is what I'll do. I'll run. I've got enough food. Running will also help prevent me from being eaten, which is a distinct possibility <laughs> in this area. Um, especially on the way to Wind's house. Like, my place really is perfect where I've got it in that little alcove over there. Uh, Huck's place right here is also not too bad because it seems to be off in a weird corner where nothing really walks around. Really? Like, there's nothing, no animals, no creatures here where Huck's little house is bizarre. And he's also got kind of a rock face here, so things out of the forest can't really get him. So, kind of a cool little spot, more or less. But my place is definitely safer, and that's what I was going to say. So let's just keep going this way. I don't want to go through the water too much. Especially in the dark. Piranhas and even Megalodons and... Who knows what else they've added to this game. I still... I was going to look it up. I still have not looked it up. That Have they added plesiosaurs? I don't know. I don't want to really find out by going into the water to get somewhere quicker and then being eaten. So, Wind's place... I might actually... Well... I was going to say I might walk across the water here, but it's a little bit far stretch. Wind's place should be right there on the other side of the shoreline. I'm looking to see if I can see any structure. That might... I can't tell if it's a structure or not. I gotta get closer. It's too dark. This game is too dark. Oh! Oh my god, Fiomia. Your stupid fangs. <laughs> I thought he was a Smilodon for a second. For a split second, I saw the two fangs in the dark, and my heart skipped. Oh my god. I can outrun a Smilodon, though. They are they are definitely slower than, than a raptor. People were saying in the comments, actually only one person I think said it, that the Smilodon was faster than a raptor. And I think someone else kind of confirmed for me that no, they are slower having tamed them both. Um, and I kind of confirmed it for myself because the other day I was walking around this area where Wynn is. Wynn's in a very dangerous spot where she's chosen her home. Um, and I was in this area and a Smilodon started chasing me. A couple of them actually did. And I was able to outrun them and outpace them. Just me running. So here's her house right here. Here's Wynn's house. See, she's not that far off either. Oh. I pooped. There, I pooed on her doorstep. <laughs> oh. So bad. So that's all that I wanted to see was just how close. Because I've never actually walked the distance from her place to my, my place. Um... So that's really close. I could probably make a bridge here too. Um, maybe across the shorter span of water like right here. I could make a bridge so that we can cross freely and quickly. Though it doesn't take too much time to get across the uh, around the bend here. I have seen I think both Carnotaurus and Velociraptor, or Uteraptors, I guess they are. I have seen Uteraptors here. I have seen Carnotaurs here. So, a little bit safer if we can kind of cut across. And swimming is right out, because Megalodons, they do <laughs> go into the sort of semi-shallowish water there. I've seen them there. So... Okay, so that was the episode, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, again, I apologize ahead of time for not having the regular episodes practically daily, if not daily. Um, 
Oh, and I just noticed how close she is to the mountain. Look at that. She's like right at the foot of the mountain. Argentavis and Smilodons might eat her up. She may have to move that base. I don't know. But anyway, uh, again, I apologize for not getting the videos out as regularly as I would like. Uh, I am out of town, but I will be back. And you will get regularly scheduled videos after that point. So look forward to that, guys. Don't go nowhere. Don't think that I've forgotten, y'all. <laughs> we'll be seeing you next time in ARC. Like this video, comment below, and do all those other awesome things you people do. Bye-bye.